Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a twist bracelet. But before I start this video, I'm not going to be doing a video every day like I was before. I'm just going to do about three or four a week, just so I don't run out of ideas. So please put in the comments any ideas you have for a tutorial. So let's get started. First you'll need your loom, a hook, a C clip or S clip your border bands and the middle twist bands so now you're going to take your border bands and we're basically making a border like you would for an infinity bracelet or a ladder bracelet so just go out from the middle to the first left and right peg and then go down both sides like this Now you're just going to do this all the way down your loom to the second to last pegs on each side. Now once you get to the second to last pegs, you're just going to go into the middle, like this, on both sides. Now your loom should look like this. So if you made an infinity bracelet or a ladder bracelet, or any bracelet like that, you would be familiar with this. So now we're going to make X's on the loom. So go like this with just one band. So that should look like an X and make sure you're going over this pin. Then just go over that band and stretch it across your loom. Just like that. Now just do that all the way down the loom. When we're doing the hooking process for these X's, I'm just going to say this, it might be a little bit trickier just because we're not hooking from the bottom of our loom. We're starting at the top and going to the bottom. But the border, we're just going to hook like a normal border. But the X's, we're starting from the top. If you've made any, like, happy food by Phil and Spiffy, you might be familiar with this because she uses this technique by hooking from the top and making X's. So you might find that like in the eraser she made. So now it should look like this. And as I said, we're going to hook from the top. So you're going to put cap bands on these two pins. I would suggest doing it the same color as your border band. So just twist it on this pin once. So then it should look like that. Then do it again on the pin across there. So now you're going to take your hook and figure out which band is on the bottom that you place down first and is this one for me. So I'm gonna go in that pin, in that cap band on the pin, grab, for me it would be the black band, so just pull it up pull it over this pin, but keep it on your hook, and place it on this pin. Now go on the other side, grab the band, 
pull it over the middle pin, then put it on this pin. Now we're not going to do, you know, we're not going to put cap ends on these two pins because we're going to be going through these two black bands. For me, it will be black or whatever color you use for the first X. Just go in, it might be a little bit tricky, so you're going in, going in the two bands, grabbing, for me it's a purple band, pull it over this pin and place it on that one. Then do the same thing on the other side. Then just do this all the way down your loom. And we're not going to be placing cap bands until we get to the bottom of your loom. If that happens, I would just place the band back on. I think I did it up here also, so I'm just going to pick that up and put it back on my pin. And if that happens, just grab the band, it might be a little tricky, and just put it back on that pin. Now your loom should look like this. Now go to the bottom of your loom again, and you're going to put a cap band on this pin. So just take a band, twist it like this, and put both ends on each other. Or I did, as I did on the pins that were up at the top of the loom, I just like put it on and twist it like this. So now I'll just do that. Go in your cap band, grab the top band, and pull it up to itself, then do that again. Now go in, grab the bottom band, pull it up on both sides. Then just do this all the way up your loom, grabbing the bottom band. I would recommend using strong bands because there's it's not that there's a lot of bands on there but there's like a lot of pressure in these X bands. So I'd recommend using strong bands and a rainbow loom hook. So now we're just going to go in, grab the bottom band and pull it up to the middle. 
like you normally would for infinity bracelet or a ladder bracelet. Now your loom should look like this. Now go to the top of your loom. We're going to go in this peg right here with our hook. So make sure all those bands are staying on. Just pull it off. Then it should look like this. And if you're a little bit confused on which side you're supposed to look at, you're going to look at this side with where you're actually able like, to see the bands in the middle. Not this side, which just looks like two single chains. So now you're going to take more of your border color or whatever color you would like to use. Put a band on the end of your hook. Pull it through and put both ends on your hook. Then just do that until you think it's good for your wrist size. Now take your S clip or C clip and you're going to stretch these bands out. Take your S clip or C clip, put it on those bands, then find your cap band at the end of your bracelet and put those on also. And then you're done your twist bracelet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.